Okay, so here's the deal. Your girl Tahiri Jose, natural beauty with a gigantic booty, from Love and Hip Hop New York, season three and season four, has one of the best bodies in the business. You know, she is basically the empress of booty models. Well, I mean, she's a model in general, but you know, you know that that's the way that people perceive her. She's a booty model. You know, I, I hate that title. I mean, to me, she's just a model. A model is a model. You know, is a hand model less of a model? You know what I mean? But anyway, she posted a very sexy selfie to Instagram recently. And, you know, once my head stopped spinning and once I finally put the lotion down, I actually read what she had to say about the picture. And it had me thinking. And I said, hmm, cheddar cheese. Now, first of all, in the comments, she revealed that her booty is natural. Well, her, well she's all natural. And she also said something that was very interesting. So here's what she said. I'm an anomaly. I second that. I'm an anomaly. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Wow. I look so much like my mom in this pic. Hashtag Team Tahiri. Hashtag Latina on the move. Hashtag I got. Hashtag oldie but goodie. Hashtag natural. Hand up to the sky emoji. Looking through my pics. My shape isn't normal. Laughing my ass off. Hands up to the sky emoji. Now, let me tell you something right now. You know, first of all if her mama is built like that let me find out uh any, does anybody know her mama's social media so i can slide up in the dms no i'm just kidding i'm totally kidding I, I, i'm just being i'm just being stupid my girl's actually shaped like this and she's a red bone for those that are wondering but anyways shout out to stacy the point is this though man tahiri is looking like a whole meal plus a dessert i mean she, she invite me over for dinner i'll be eating the rump roast <laughs> put some potatoes and carrots down that crack and around that booty lord Ooh. anyways th that thing is crazy but yeah ass on rump roast face on ice cream i mean she's looking like a meal for real but anyways this is the thing th this is the thing that stood out to me first of all she's natural so that puts the rest all the stupid rumors that she had work done no this flawless goddess is all natural but then the other thing that i noticed is that she said my shape isn't normal and and a part of me was like Okay, she's complimenting herself, but it bothered me because it's like, why when women who are shaped like her and Stacy, who who have this voluptuous figure, <laughs> you know, more, more ass than a little bit, why is it that people make them feel as if they're not normal because they're not average, because they're naturally enhanced, because, because you know... God was apparently startled when he was pouring in the ass when he made them and he accidentally poured in a little bit too much ass. No, not too much for me, but you know, TMA too much ass for a lot of y'all. Now, it's not too much for me, but for some of y'all, I mean, mm, I, all, all I can say is this, man, I wouldn't want to be her heels being that skinny and having to carry around all that booty. I mean, those heels are very brave. Shit, those ain't heels. Those are heroes. <laughs> oh, shit. Looking like Call of Booty. <laughs> but anyways, you know. But yeah, I, I just hate the fact that women with voluptuous figures like this sometimes think that they're not normal as if they're not, they're not just like every other woman. You know, people look at them. You know, look at what happened to Venus Hot and Top. Sarah Bartman, I think her name was, you know, being put on display. Nowadays, these women put themselves on display, which is very interesting. But <laughs> the thing is this, though. People look at her body as not being normal that's what i love about nikki you know nikki minaj and kim kardashian and the other women who maybe have some enhancements to look like tahiri and stacy but they're helping to make it normal to be shaped like that so people don't look at them as some sort of freak and when i say freak i don't mean freak like a sideshow like the way that they were looked at back in sarah bartman's days i mean a freak like thinking nasty things about them you know because they're like well it, it, <laughs> Everybody must be hollering at you and you must be answering. You know what I mean? Like, like people assume things, you know, because she just happens to be out of this world hot. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, just downright perfect. And <laughs> people are looking like, you know, this is the type of body that women are paying thousands of dollars for. And, and she's just like that. They're looking at it like, well, that's not. No, no it is very normal. OK, I just feel as if these ladies should never feel as if it's not normal. Now, I'm not saying she said this in an insecure sort of way or anything like that. I mean, she loves her body, obviously. I mean, we all do. <laughs> I just want women with these 
out of this world proportions to know that it is completely normal to be that perfect i understand that other women are dying to look like you I understand that they're taking fix a flat in the ass and they're you know <laughs> having to use their life savings to, to try to buy your body <laughs> well you are normal you're just extraordinary you're just a rarity you're just perfecto that's perfect in spanish for my non-spanish speaking friends but anyways shout out to tahiri one of the sexiest women on the planet also in an interview she had said <laughs> oh, i can't believe i'm bringing this up she said that she likes it that guys beat the mean three and a half to her to her picture so anybody who has something dumb to say to me about me being thirsty for tahiri tahiri's a living breathing thirst trap my jesus i commend women like this that don't mind if guys ptl pass the lotion so shout out to Tahiri. Anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a Tahiri Jose fan with a microphone. I wish she would come back to Love and Hip Hop New York to help save the show. Season 7 suck donkey dick. And if she was there, she would have probably, I mean, between her and the booty, because they're two separate entities. Between her and the booty coming on the show, boy, it, it would save the show, my Jesus. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit Meat Magazine. .blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. Meat Magazine 7 on Google+. Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. And <laughs> don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified when new videos are posted. Ladies, are you built like Tahiri? Or anywhere near that close? And don't lie, Heffles. But have you ever felt insecure or felt as if you weren't normal because <laughs> other women have to pay to look like you? <laughs> Let me know below. Meat Magazine. No offense to women who aren't built like this. You're, there's still plenty of beautiful women that don't look like this. Okay, I'm not saying that she's the only beautiful woman out there. There's, there's <laughs> y'all know. I think there's lots of beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? I'll be shouting them out all the time. I'm just saying though, lots of beautiful different body types and everything. It, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you know this is the only body type that looks good. I'm just saying no. But a lot of women do pay a lot of money to try to look like this. I mean they're. Pfft. <laughs> they're taking their last penny <laughs> there's, there's some woman right now in Dubai getting shitted on so that she could buy this body <laughs> it's a damn shame but it's true it's true y'all know it's true